Good morning to all. So today we are going to start our revision for the lesson 14. Okay, lesson 14. Transportation in plants and circulation in animals. Already we have started the uh, revision that is science again. I am staying at the revision for 12th lesson. I think you have been uh, thorough with the lesson. Next one, we are going to start the 14th lesson. Transportation in plants and circulation in animals. So let us see the first we can see about the one word questions. So we book back one words and everything we have to complete it first. Okay. First, that is choose the correct answer. What is the uh, first question? Active transport involves. That is, uh, what is the answer? Movement of molecules from lower to higher concentration, expenditure of energy. It is an uphill task. The last one, option D is all of the above. So what is the answer for this is all of the above. Active transport takes place in what? All of the above. That water uh, which is absorbed by road is transported to aerial part of the plant through xylem. The xylem is the responsible for the upward transport of the water from root to higher part, upper part of the plant. Then during transpiration there is loss of water. During transpiration there is loss of water. The next one root hairs. Root hairs of uh, what is the answer? Both B and C. What is B and C? Projection of epidermal cell and unicellular. Projection of epidermal cell and unicellular. That is the answer. Both B and C is the answer for fourth question. Then fifth question, which of the following process require energy? Which process that is uh, transport of food materials in plants? Among that, which of the uh, that is transport, which process is require, requiring energy? That is active transport. Active transport requires energy. Then wall of human heart is made up of all of the oh, last one. Answer is D. That is endocardium, epicardium, myocardium and all of the above. Which of the sequence of correct blood flow? Which is the correct sequence of uh, blood flow? That is auricle, ventricle, arteries and veins. Option C. Atrium, ventricle, arteries and veins. Then a patient, fifth, eighth question, a patient with a blood group CO was injured in an accident and has blood loss. Which blood group the doctors should uh, effectively used for transfusion of this in this condition that is all above the, since the O group is a recipient universe, uh, universal donor sorry uh, answer is O group ok O group a patient with blood group O was injured in an accident and has a blood loss which blood group the doctor should effectively use for transfusion in this condition answer O group ok O group can receive only O group of blood ok then heart of heart SA node heart of heart is called SA node which one of the following regarding blood consumption is correct blood plasma RBC WBC and platelet so 10th one answer D once again listen first one choose the correct answer first one answer active transport involves answer all of the above all of the above D option D is the answer then second one water which, uh, which is absorbed by root is transported to aerial part of the plant through xylem which is uh, transporting the water through xylem during transpiration there is a loss of water third one answer water C option C then fourth one root hairs of both B and C both uh, option D is the answer both B and C that is projection of epidermal cell and also unicellular our answer is D both B and C which of the following process require energy option A answer is A active transport then the wall of human heart is made up of all of the above option D then which of the sequence is correct blood flow atrium ventricle arteries and veins the eighth one, a patient with the blood group O was injured in an accident and has blood loss. Which blood group the doctor should effectively use for transfusion in this condition? Option is A. Or answer is A. O group. Okay. The heart of heart is called SA node. SA node is known as the heart of heart. The which one of the following regarding blood composition is correct? Blood, plasma, 
or BC, WBC and platelets. Answer is D. Answer, 10th one answer D. Okay, blood is made up of plasma, RBC, WBC and blood platelets. The next one, filling the blanks. Trans dash involves evaporative loss of water from a dead body, which is a process transpiration. Transpiration is a process of loss of water. Okay, transpiration. First one fill in the blanks. Answer. First one is transpiration. The next one, water enters the root cells through a dash plasma membrane. Semi permeable plasma membrane. Second one, semi permeable. Structure and root that helps to absorb water or root layers. Root layers are the structure which is involved in the absorption of water. Then normal blood pressure 120 mm and 280 mm. Okay, 120 mm to 80 mm. Then normal human heartbeat rate is about 72 time per minute. 72 time per minute. Okay, that's a normal heartbeat of a uh, person. Okay. This once again, the dash involves evaporative loss of water, transpiration, the process transpiration, spelling, what is the spelling, T-R-A-N-S-P-I-R-A-T-I-O-N, transpiration. Then, water enters the root cells through a semi-permeable plasma membrane, semi-permeable, S-C-M-I-P-E-R-M-E-A-B-A-T, semi-permeable plasma membrane. The structure in root that helps to absorb water or root hairs. Root hairs are the structure which helps in absorbing the water. Root hairs. Okay, small thread like structure, hair like structure which is arising from the roots. It is a, uh, responsible for the absorption of water from the soil. Root hairs. Then normal blood pressure 120 mm. 120 mm to 80 mm. Okay, the answer for. Fourth question. Okay, the fifth question. Normal human heartbeat rate is about 72 times. 72 times per minute. Okay, the time the 72 times per minute. The next one. Match the following. Match the following. This is uh, two sections are given. First one. Sim plastic pathway. What is the answer? Plasma does matter. Answer is plasma does matter. Sim plastic pathway. Plasma does matter. Transpiration, leak. Answer is leak. Second one, uh, sorry, third one, osmosis, pressure gradient. Osmosis, pressure gradient is answer. Root pressure, pressure in xylem. So, one second is in first one, symplastic pathway, plasma dysmeter. Symplastic pathway, plasma dysmeter. Second one, transpiration, leak. Transpiration is through leak. Then, third one, osmosis, Pressure gradient. Pressure gradient. Answer is pressure gradient. The last one, root pressure. Pressure in xylem. Okay, pressure in xylem. The next one, section 2, that is leukemia. Blood cancer. Answer, blood cancer. Leukemia, once again, leukemia, blood cancer. Platelets, thrombocytes. Platelets, thrombocytes. Then, monocyte, phagocyte. Answer is phagocyte. Then, leukopenia, decrease in leukocyte, decrease in leukocyte. So, first four, once again, is an leukemia, blood cancer, platelets, thrombocytes. What is the other name of the platelets? Thrombocytes. Then, monocyte, phagocyte. Answer is phagocyte. Leukopenia, decrease in leukocyte. These are the first four. Next one, AB blood group. AB blood blue, what is the answer? Absence of antibody. AB blood blue, absence of antibody. O group, absence of antigen. Absence of antigen. Then is no field allergic condition, neutrophil inflammation. So these are the answers for 5 to 8 questions. Once again, listen. AB blood blue, absence of antibody. O group, absence of antigen. Is no field Allergic condition and neutrophil inflammation. So, this is our second uh, section. Answer for my once again leukemia. From the first question, leukemia, blood cancer. Leukemia, blood cancer, platelets, thrombocytes. Platelets answer thrombocytes, monocyte, phagocyte, leukopenia, increase in leukocyte. Sorry, decrease in leukocyte. Then, AB blood group, absence of antibody. Absence of antibody. 
O blood group absence of antigen absence of antigen is no fill allergic condition and last one neutrophil inflammation so they are completed the match the following also then next one coming to the true or false okay true or false phloem is responsible for translocation of food answer is true answer true okay the phloem is responsible for the translocation of food materials plant loses by the process of transpiration true second one also answer is true the form of sugar transported through phloem is glucose true in apoplastic movement the water travels through cell membrane and enters the cell false answer is false what is the answer the apopla uh, so we have to correct the not, not only you should write true or false you have to write the correct statement also so first you, uh, three or two here it is false this and in apoplastic movement the water travels through the cell membrane and enters the cell here answer is false what is the answer in apo correct answer is in apoplastic movement water travels through the intercellular space and walls of the cell through the intercellular space and through uh, between the that is uh, place between the intercellular uh, two cells the space between two cells is known as intercellular space and through that path this apoplastic uh, movement takes place through that way it will be taking place that is the space in the cellular space which is between the two cell, adjacent cells the space will be present through that the water will be moving okay in apoplastic pathway then when blood cell lose water the stoma opens answer false so what happens when the blood cells loses water the stoma will be closed when it is losing the water when the stoma which is god cells is losing the water losing the water the god cells that is stoma will be closed then initiation and stimulation of heart beat takes place by nerves true then all veins carry oxygen deoxygenated blood false all veins carry oxygenated blood okay all veins carry oxygenated blood wbc defend the body from bacterial and viral infection true the closure of mitral and tricuspid valve at the start of ventricular system produce the first sound la true okay, 91 true the next one answer in a word answer in a word name two protective covering of human heart pericardium so pericardium is the outer protective covering of human heart then what is the shape of rbc in human blood that is biconcave disc shape the human the human blood the shape of rbc in human blood is biconcave and disc shape biconcave and disc shape that is the shape of rbc you are writing say that the shape of rbc in human blood is biconcave and disc shape then what is the color of blood red in color answer is in page number 205 that is the rbc import red color to blood due to the presence of respiratory pigment called hemoglobin so because of the presence of hemoglobin respiratory pigment called hemoglobin the blood is red rbc is or red in color so what is the question once again what is the color of blood red okay that's the question the rbc is import red color to the blood due to the presence of respiratory pigment called hemoglobin so it is the red color of the blood is due to the presence of pigment respiratory pigment called hemoglobin the next one what kind of cells are found in leaf lymphatic capillaries lymphatic vessels lymph nodes and lymph uh, ducts the next one name the part valve associated with the major arteries leaving the ventricle that is semi lunar valve semi lunar lunar valve is the valve which is associated with the majority arteries leaving the ventricle mention the arteries which supply blood blood to the heart muscles coronary artery the blood vessels which is giving the blood to the heart muscles the covering of the vessel 
which is when uh, which is for heart which is uh, formed of cardiac muscles and this muscles are supplied with blood with the help of coronary arteries with the help of coronary arteries the blood is supplied to the heart muscles with the help of coronary arteries the next one short answer coming to the short answer what causes the opening and closing of god cells of stomata during transpiration what causes the opening and stomata uh, closing of god cells of stomata during transpiration page number 202 answer is in page number 202 It is uh, under the heading transpiration. Transpiration fourth line. The opening and closing of stomata is due to the change in turgidity of blood cells. It is because of the change in turgidity of the blood cells. The opening and closing of stomata takes place. When water enters the enters the blood cell, when water is entering the blood cell, they become turgid. It will become uh, expanded. The blood cells become expanded, and the stoma will open. When the blood cell loses water, when the water is uh, sent outside from the blood cell, it will become flaccid. It will become uh, flaccid. Okay, flaccid, and the stoma closes because of this stoma will be closed. So that's uh, that is by the entry and exit of the water, the stoma uh, opening of the stomata takes place. When the water enters into the blood cells, it will become turgid. Turgid means full. This uh, the cells become proper shape. Okay, proper shape. It will attain the shape. Uh, that is regular shape and it helps in the uh, expansion of blood cells. Expansion of blood cells takes place and finally it helps in the opening of stomata. Next, closing the when the water comes out of the blood cells, it will become flaccid. It will become flaccid and causes the closing of stomata. The picture, uh, the diagram uh, can refer page number two zero three for diagram for this closing and opening. That is flaccid and turgid condition of the blood cells is given in page number two zero three. The diagram also you have to study. Okay, the diagram you have to draw the diagram neatly and also label the parts. Sometimes if they are asking the structure of stomata, draw the structure and label the parts of stomata or stoma. You can draw this diagram page number. Two zero three first diagram. This is open stomata. Okay, open stomata. The blood cells are turgid, and so that the stomata will be open. Next one. This is closed condition of stomata. The cells, the blood cells are flaccid. Uh, uh, after giving the water, after uh, sending the water outside, the cells, blood cells become flaccid, and it causes the closing of stomata. So this is how the transpiration. That is. Opening and closing of stomata takes place in plants. Okay, so uh, study the uh, diagram also along with the question. You should uh, study the diagram. If it is asked separately, you can draw it for. Uh, sometimes it will be asked for two more questions. Okay, for three or two more questions, uh, it will be asked. Okay, draw the structure of stomata and label the parts. Parts both. Uh, you have to study both. Okay, stoma open and stoma closed. The next one, what is cohesion? What is cohesion? Page number two zero four. Two zero four. The force of attraction between water molecules. Okay, molecules of water. The force of attraction between molecules of water is called cohesion. Okay, page number two zero four. What is cohesion? Answer. The force of attraction between water molecules, molecules or molecules of water is said to be cohesion. Then trace the pathway. Followed by water molecules from the time it enters the plant root to the time it passes uh, escape into the atmosphere from the leaf. Page number two zero two. Page number two zero two. The diagram. Okay, the diagram you have to study. Draw the diagram and write the parts and put the arrow mark to denote the pathway of the water. Okay, water molecules. It is.
So, what are the first stages of the root hair? Root hair cell. Then, towards the root cortex cell. Through cortex, it will be passing to the xylem vessels. So, this is the pathway of water molecules. So, first it will be absorbed by the water, will be absorbed by the root hairs. And this root hairs from the root hairs to the root hair cell, root hair cell to the cortex region, root cortex cells, and finally reaches the xylem. And xylem will be uh, transporting the water in the upward direction. So, this is the pathway, pathway through which we have to draw, that is, water is passed on. Okay, that is the answer for. Third question. The next one, what would happen to leaves of plants that transfer more water than absorption, than it absorption in the root? Once again, what would happen to the leaves of a plant that transfers more water than if it absorption in the root? So what happens uh, when the transpiration is more than the absorption? So what happens? The transpiration is more. The water, water from the plant body will be evaporated into the atmosphere and the plant will be uh, chill, uh, wilted. Okay, it will be, uh, the leaves will be, will not be able to, uh, the cells will become plastic and the plants will be wilting. Okay, wilting down. And so it will cause us the drying up of the plants. Okay, the plants will not be able to absorb the water. It will not be having proper amount of water and it will lead to the wilting of the plant. It will lead to wilting of the plant. If the transpiration is more than the absorption of water, then the absorption, what happens? The plant will start wilting. The next one, describe the structure and working of human heart. So it is in page number 207. Okay, 207. Short answer. It is short answer, right? When uh, we to draw the diagram, it is asked for 4 marks or 7 marks. Let's draw the diagram and explain the structure of the heart and the working of the heart in a detailed manner. Okay. So structure, we know the about 4 parts. That is auricle, ventricle. What is it covered with? It is covered by the wall called pericardium. It is made, a heart is made up of cardiac muscles. It is uh, pericardial fluid, you write about pericardial fluid. Then, what uh, uh, is uh, four chambers, you have to write about the four chambers of the heart. It is two auricle and two ventricle, you have to write about that and uh, draw the diagram neatly. Okay, draw the diagram, heart diagram and label the parts thoroughly. Label the parts neatly. Okay, then, and also working of the heart. Working of the heart, uh, it's also you have to. Uh, Write about and also the heart and the parts of the heart. You have to write about the valves or the what are the valves which are present in the heart. Heartbeat. Write about the heartbeat of the uh, heart. Okay, then you have to write uh, according to the marks you have to write. Up. Okay, so structure first you have to write the structure. What is heart made up of? Uh, what is the muscles called? And what are the valves which are present in the heart? And also the pumping of the heart we have to. Right. Then I'll also draw the diagram. Then why is circulation in man referred as double circulation? Which is in page number 208. 208. When this blood circulates twice through the heart in one complete cycle. This, the blood takes to, uh, twice it enters into the heart. So it is said to be double circulation. When the blood circulates twice through the heart in one complete cycle, one complete cycle, the blood will enter twice into the heart. So it is said to be double circulation. In human beings, it is said to be double circulation. Since the blood is entering twice into the heart in a cycle, in a complete cycle, one complete cycle, twice it is entering into the heart blood. So it is said to be double circulation. Then, what are heart sound? How are they produced? Heart sound, uh, love and doubt. Dub. Exam, uh, page number 210. Answer is in page number 210. The rhythmic closure and opening of valves causes the sound of the heart. So, opening and closing of the valves causes the sound of the heart. And the first sound, love. Love is uh, having longer duration. 
and it produces the by the closure of tricuspid valve. It is produced by the closing of the valve. Bicuspid that is second one is dub sound. Second one is the dub sound and it is short duration. It is produced by the closure of semilunar valve. First one lap down a uh, lap sound is caused by the closure of tricuspid valve. The sound is produced by the closure of tricuspid valve and the sound is formed by the closure of semilunar valve. Okay, semilunar valve. Is produced by the closure of semilunar valve. So there are two types of sound. That is uh, the rhythmic close, closure and opening. Closing and opening of the heart produces the heart sound. There are two types of sounds are there. Lap sound and lap, dub sound. This is of longer duration. The lap, uh, that is lap sound is of longer duration and it is produced by the closing of right aspect valve and dub sound it is a shorter duration and it is produced by the closure of semilunar valves. So this is about the uh, seventh question and what is the importance of valves in heart? Why the valves are present in the uh, that is why this valves what is the importance of valves in the heart? That is it will uh, valves are the muscular flaps that regulates the flow of blood in a single direction and prevent black back flow of blood. Okay, back flow of blood will be prevented by the valves. So, this valves on the muscular flap like structure, flap means uh, covering uh, cap like structure that regulates the flow of blood. It is regulating, the valves are regulating the flow of blood into the heart that is um, in a single direction to allow the uh, blood to flow only in single direction and it will prevent the back flow that is return of the blood to the uh, that is from where it is flowing okay so it can control the back flow of blood okay the different types of valves also you can write if you want you can based on the marks you can write about the types of valves okay you order the right arteriovenicular valve left arteriovenicular valve and semilunar valve you can write about the types so what is the function of what's the importance of uh, valve that is it is regulating the the valve is regulating the flow of blood into the see it is single direction it is allowing the blood to flow only in single direction and it will prevent the back flow of blood that's the importance of uh, valve okay the next one who discovered artery structure why was it named so so who was the person who has uh, discovered artery structure Landsteiner and Vena. Okay, Landsteiner and Vena is the, are the two persons who has found out the RH factor in the body of rhesus monkey. Which monkey? Rhesus monkey. So that it is named as RH factor. Rhesus monkey. Okay. So rhesus monkey it is a uh, the factor, the RH factor was the, what's the question? Who discovered RH factor and why it is named so? What is the answer? RH factor was discovered by page number, is in page number 211. Okay, in your book, is in page number 211. RH factor was discovered by Lane Singer and Vena in 1940 in Rhesus Monkey. Rhesus Monkey. So, because of, uh, since it is found in Rhesus Monkey, it is named as RH factor. Okay. Then. How are arteries and veins structurally different from one another? Tenth question. How are arteries and veins structurally different from one another? So it is in page number 206. Page number 206. A column difference between arteries and veins it is given. So what is the according to the mark you have right. So based on the marks. Uh, this for 4 marks question you write more than 4 points so you don't write only uh, particular points important points you have to note down and you have to study okay, what are the important points that is blood flow uh, wall of arteries are strong and thick elastic wall of veins thin and non elastic thin and non elastic arteries carry oxidated blood veins carry deoxidated blood ok except pulmonary vein then internal valves are absent, internal valves are present. These
these three you should uh, study as important bonds. Okay, these are the function, the question if it is and structure, this also in structure, okay, structurally different. How it is structurally different? If it is asked like that, if it is not all mentioned structurally, you have to write this three, these three points as an important one. Okay. If it is structurally it is asked, you have to write this here that is uh, distributing vessel, collecting vessel, pink in color, red in color, deep location, superficial indication. Uh, these three points is enough when it is asked about uh, that is structural. Structurally, how it is different. But when it is asked, uh, write the difference, write any difference between arteries and veins, and write the functions also. Main functions that you mention. Okay, that is uh, carry first one. Uh, to write about the structure, it is walls of arteries, uh, strong, thick, and elastic. Walls of arteries, arteries, weak, thin, and non elastic. And arteries carry oxygenated blood except pulmonary artery. All veins carry deoxygenated blood except pulmonary vein. Okay, this is uh, according to the marks, you have to present the answer. Okay, write neatly, you should write, put the column properly and write uh, point ways, you have to write down. Okay, the next one. Why is sinoatrial node called pacemaker of the heart? Page number 209. 209. Sinoatrial node acts as pacemaker of the heart because it is capable of initiating impulse which can stimulate the heart muscles to contract. It will stimulate, it will, it will cause the impulse that is uh, causing the contraction of the heart muscle. It will cause the contraction of heart muscles. So, sinoatrial node acts as a pacemaker of the heart because it is capable of initiating impulse. It is initiating impulse which can stimulate heart muscles. Which it will produce an impulse which will stimulate the heart muscles to contract. It will initiate that is uh, give initiation for the heart muscles for the contraction so that the heart uh, pumping of blood takes place. So, it is known as the pacemaker of the heart. The next one, differentiate between systemic circulation and pulmonary circulation. Systemic circulation and pulmonary cir circulation, page number 208. Page number 208 is given. You have to write uh, differentiation now, you can write in column wise also or you can write in paragraphs. Okay, if it is column, it is more... Uh, more better than that. Okay. Systemic circulation. Circulation of oxygenated blood from left ventricle to heart to various organs of the body and return of the deoxygenated blood to right atrium. And to iota carries oxygenated blood to all of the organs. Then pulmonary circulation. The path of pulmonary circulation starts in the right ventricle. Then pulmonary artery arises from the right ventricle and reaches the lungs with deoxygenated blood. Pulmonary vein collects the oxygenated blood from the lungs and supplies to the left atrium of the heart. So, this is a write in column wise or uh, in game it will be given in points. Okay, that you can study. For point wise, it is easier that you can refer and study. Okay, great. Then, next one. The complete event of cardiac cycle lasts for 0.8 seconds and what is the timing for each event? So, it is in page number 210. Page number 210. Cardiac cycle. Complete event of cardiac cycle. It is atrial systole, ventricular systole and ventricular diastole. So, these are the three events taking place during the cardiac cycle. Three, uh, three steps are there. That is cardiac atrial systole. Atrial systole. Second one, ventricular system. Okay, 0.4 seconds and totally it is 8 seconds. The 
about here second takes place in eight seconds. Okay, point eight second. So these are the events that is taking place during a cardiac cycle. Atrial systole, ventricular systole, and ventricular diastole. First one, atrial systole, point one second. Ventricular systole, point three second. Ventricular diastole, point four seconds. Totally, the cardiac cycle just point eight seconds to complete a cycle. So these are about the uh, cardiac cycle. The next one. Give reasons. Uh, give reasons. Minerals cannot be passively absorbed by the root. What is the answer for that? Page number. Give reason. First question. Minerals are not passively absorbed by the root. That is page number two zero three. Answer is in page number two zero three. All minerals cannot be passively absorbed by the root. Two factors account for this. It is minerals are present in the soil as charged particles. It is present in the form of charged particles that cannot move across the cell membrane. So since it is present in the form of charged particles, it cannot move across the cell membrane. Second one, the concentration of minerals in the soil is usually lower than the concentration of minerals in the root, so it cannot be passively absorbed by the uh, root. So once again, listen, the minerals cannot be passively absorbed by the roots because uh, minerals present in the soil is present in the form of charged particles, so it cannot be absorbed by the roots easily. The next one, the concentration of the minerals in the soil usually is. Lower than the concentration of uh, minerals in the root. Okay, so it cannot be passively absorbed by the root. Next one, guard cells responsible for opening and closing of stomata. So already this question we have uh, discussed in short answer first question. Guard cells, the when the guard cells absorb the water, it will become turgid. So by the absorption of water, by when the water is entering the guard cells. The guard cells become turgid, and this causes the opening of stomata. When the water is sent outside, it causes the closing of stomata. So, guard cells are responsible for the opening and closing of stomata. The movement of substance in the phloem can be in any direction. What is the answer? It is in page number two zero three. Page number two zero three. So, say, uh, since the sourcing relationship is variable, the direction of movement in phloem can be mm -hmm. upward and downward. So, phloem the uh, leaves produces the food materials. Leaves are producing the food materials. That's a source. That's the source of the the sink is the region where the food can food is used by the plants where the pot which is using the plant and it is said to be sink. It can be based on this. The source and sink uh, that is direction it, that may be used by root, stem, fruit. Even fruits are using this food material, isn't it? So it is not. Uh, it is vary the place where the source of sink is vary. The source and sink direction will be varying so that it will be uh, the direction. It is not unidirectional. It is in different direction. It is in. Uh, by direction it is by direction then minerals okay then we can uh, discuss that uh, so up to this you may study revise it uh, that is uh, two page uh, row number 1 2 3 4 5 6 I completed row number 1 to 6 so revise these questions uh, study properly without any mistake you study there and next later uh, to the next class we can see the remaining portion okay thank you all